We've got a lot of details for Ahsoka as they're ramping it up. More so than I thought. Like they're they're like you said, they're mm -hmm. sprinkling it throughout. Like each week we almost get something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hey, this is a clip from our full episode, which you can check out on the channel or in the description. Now, back to the clip. Dave Floney has said this in terms of where Ahsoka is in her place in the galaxy at this point. Mm -hmm. Quote, she's a wanderer at this point and is in a lot of ways wary of an organization as such because of the power that comes with it as a group. She walks a path that basically died out a long time ago and there aren't many like her left, if any. So that's a lonely thing. What is that life like? If you are a loner, you have a very small circle of friends. What is it like then when you try to open back up? I think it's funny that he mentioned if any left. Yeah, come on. <sighs> come on. This is Star Wars. Don't don't treat us like children. Freaking Ray Stevenson's character is an Order 66 survivor. Yep. There's other people. Come don't on, bro. kid us. <laughs> Come on. What are we talking about here? Yeah. <laughs> Please. Please. Uh -huh. But we have details on Ahsoka as a character. And we, we saw bits and pieces of this in Book of Boba Fett and Mandalorian mm -hmm. of how, like, she's still trying to, like, find her purpose and mm -hmm. looking for a community, but also knows, like, how crumbling and fragile that can be through her time in the Rebellion. Yeah. Ahsoka's in that unique space of having seen the best and the worst and having those really hard experiences of having to break away. And so I'm sure she's kind of jaded in a lot of ways yeah. of just being like, you know what? I just, I'd really rather not be a part of things, mm. but I still want to help sort of thing. I think this is going to be really interesting, especially because we we're seeing kind of this Rebels tie in with yeah. the Rebels characters and we're seeing this new order coming into play and how like that's still trying to be a force for better. But we're going to see Ahsoka kind of struggling with that too. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. Do I, I hang out with Luke more? Right. Do I go to the New Republic? Do I just go on my own thing? Do I like attack Thrawn? Like, do I focus on the warlords through the galaxy? Right. And I think she'll really understand that she can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. I think that's why we see her going to Sabine. Yeah. I can't fight the entire empire right. by myself right. anymore. <laughs> And Sabine still seems like a pretty isolated character. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing Ahsoka kind of ragtag these mm -hmm. <laughs> isolated individuals she, as She's best making she can. her own little mini Avengers. Yeah. It's like Ant-Man or uh, Captain America's <laughs> Revengers team or whatever in mm -hmm. Civil War. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, she's going to also rebel against having this group of people mm. because it's going to be like, oh gosh, we're yeah. going to make this power thing again. I just, uh -huh. I just can't. <laughs> so it's going to be really interesting. I, I I love that idea of her like realizing that she can't go against the galaxy like the evil in the galaxy by herself and also I feel like she's just kind of like lonely a little bit mm -hmm. like a little sad like mm -hmm. oh where's my buds I, I've been feeling kind of like Ahsoka's been flat as far as the live action that we've seen mm -hmm. yeah so I really, there's no depth there yeah like she's just kind of been this like monochrome mm -hmm. character hey, who just pops in helps to do a good deed and then kind of floats away and we just kind like left with okay cool that was Ahsoka so I'm really hoping we see a lot more of that struggle within mm -hmm. her we have to I mean come on this is her show yeah but I did say that about Boba Fett and <laughs> it got a little taken over by Mando yes but Dave Filoni created Ahsoka wrote mm -hmm. all the episodes of Ahsoka True. and wants Ahsoka in everything so we have to keep that in mind too. True so she will be the star oh yeah this will be her show mm -hmm. <laughs> and like on that side of things like what you're saying of Ahsoka being like very kind of flat so far. I think that's due to what Dave Filoni says in this next quote is he says this. The biggest challenge was there's a whole bunch of the audience that know her and a whole bunch that don't. She has one foot in the Star Wars that a lot of people know because of her connection to Anakin and yet she's still all new and can go in her own direction in her own way. I think that makes her an interesting bridge between what came before and what's really possible. Because if you ask, like I have friends that love Star Wars, watch every single live action thing ever cannot watch the animated stuff hmm. have not watched and there's a I understand there's a there's seven freaking seasons of Clone Wars yeah it's a lot they're amazing I love every single episode I've watched the series probably like five times but it's a it's an investment that is a huge time investment the Clone Wars is like an anthology too so there's like a right way to watch it if you watch it how they've got it laid out on Disney plus you're gonna be super confused because mm -hmm. you're like where what uh what Ooh. 
What? Why are we doing? Why, oh, what? So they have this really interesting problem of like, we need to tell people about Ahsoka, but also we need to respect the people who know that Ahsoka is here. Mm. How do we do this? That is true. It is a really tough spot. But do I feel like they've been doing it well so far? Not really. Mm -hmm. Well, think... they can't really without making Mandalorian the Ahsoka show. Right. Right, fair enough. So they put her there and they're like, hey, this is a person. And then all of the Ahsoka people are like, oh my gosh, what? Yeah. All the people that don't have any idea about Ahsoka are like, getting okay, interesting. slightly, slowly introduced mm -hmm. to her. Yeah. Interesting. Which I think is an interesting strategy, but a lot of people didn't watch Book of Boba Fett and were super confused when Mandalorian Season 3 came out. True. So that's another part of the challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't assume that everyone's watching all of these shows. Mm -hmm. I think they would like to assume oh, that. Well, yeah. I mean, clearly they did assume that. Uh huh. And Seeing how like, they put a, a tremendous moment of Mandalorian's timeline mm. story in Boba Fett. So, yeah. <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> So there's a lot of that, those different pieces and a lot of those experiences just like that that they're going to have to really sh go past. Uh, honestly, I just hope they try to do something Ahsoka. You know, mm -hmm. like, let's just stick with Honor Ahsoka. Honor her character. Yeah, please. Please don't be trying to please all of us because you're never going to. Mm -hmm. Just honor that character. Yeah. Give her a good story mm -hmm. that we can get behind, you know? Like, that's really all we need. Yeah. And then eventually, after everyone craps on it mm -hmm. and, uh, like, 10 years pass, everyone's going to go back like, hey, man, um... Sex pretty good. <laughs> yep. Yep. 